Trevor Reed is out of a Russian prison and on his way back to the United States. The White House announced a prisoner exchange this morning. CBS News' Nally Brand has more on why Reed was in custody and the circumstances that led to his release. Former Marine Trevor Reed is on a plane flying home to the U.S., finally free after his arrest in Russia in 2019. Reed's parents told CNN their son called as soon as he was released. We were actually on the phone with Trevor when the, the president called. <laughs> so, um, and uh, he, again, gr totally gracious and, and wonderful and kind and said he looked, forward, he looked forward to seeing us in the White House again. President Biden met with Reed's parents in late March. The president released a statement this morning saying, I heard in the voices of Trevor's parents how much they've worried about his health and missed his presence. He goes on to say the negotiations that allowed us to bring Trevor home require difficult decisions that I do not take lightly. Reed was released in exchange for a Russian pilot who had been convicted of drug smuggling charges more than a decade ago. Trevor quickly told us that they, the American plane pulled up next to the Russian plane and they walked both prisoners across at the same time like you see in the movies. Senior administration officials say negotiations had been going on for months and were separate from Russia's war on Ukraine. U.S. officials say Reed is in good spirits, but his parents worry about his health. We're praying that he doesn't have tuberculosis, but we're still concerned, uh, you know, that he was coughing up blood for months. The administration says work continues to try and release other Americans wrongfully detained, including former Marine Paul Whelan and WNBA basketball player Brittany Griner. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Joining us now with more is Ryan Fahey. He is the attorney for Paul Whelan's family. Whelan is the Michigan businessman who was arrested in Moscow and charged with espionage in 2018. Ryan, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, how is Paul Whelan's family responding to news of this prisoner exchange? Well, first, th thanks very much for having me. And, and I have to say at the outset that the, the family uh, is gratified by the release of, of Trevor Reed. It's obviously great news and just delighted that he's uh, either home or on his way home. Um, obviously, the family, though, is disappointed that the government of Russia continues to hold Paul Whelan, their brother, uh, son, uh, uncle, cousin and friend. Um, in, in very, very difficult circumstances. You know, Paul is, Paul is being held more than nine hours from Moscow in a work camp. And so, obviously, it's a treacherous situation. We know the government's doing everything they can to try to bring Paul home, and the family believes very much this is a missed opportunity. And, Ryan, President Biden has said that getting wrongfully, uh, you know, accused Americans out of Russia is a priority. Still, Whelan is one of a few who remain. Do you have any more insight into why he and or any of the other prisoners were not part of this exchange? Well, unfortunately, it appears that the political price uh, in exchange for Paul is too great to have been included here. Uh, what's disappointing, obviously, is uh, Konstantin Yaroshenko, who's now back with his family in Russia, um, was subject uh, to an open, transparent uh, proceeding here in the United States as a result of having been charged of distributing multiple kilograms of cocaine. And he was exchanged for a person who, even if we take Russia's facts as true, I'm not saying we should, but if we do, uh, disorderly conduct after having too much to drink. And so it's deeply out of proportion and it's deeply concerning to the family that if the price for Trevor Reed is uh, a man accused of distributing multiple ki kilos of cocaine, what is the price for Paul Whelan? Um, the family's view is to avoid these types of tit-for-tat prisoner exchanges in the first place. We have a complex relationship with Russia. Um, there's many things that can be done to, cool, to, to warm relations, uh, even though they're at an all-time low. And we hope the government will help think more creatively about how to resolve this matter. Right. And I know you're not looking for sort of a tit-for-tat, as you just said, but in light of Trevor Reed's release, um, has anyone from the State Department been in contact with you or the family with information about what more is being done to get Paul Whelan home? 
So myself and the family together are in constant communication uh, at the very top of the U.S. government, both with Ambassador Roger Carstens, who was on the plane with Trevor Reed today, a very good and decent public servant. The ambassador, John Sullivan, uh, met with us multiple times, and we've met uh, with Jake Sullivan. The only thing that's missing here, and I think it's a key opportunity, is the family very much uh, would like to sit down, even for a limited time, with President Biden and let him hear directly from them um, what uh, they view the efforts ought to be in order to secure his release and hopefully, even in a confidential manner, hear back from the president um, on the progress here and what he thinks will help free Paul. Mm. Ryan Fahey, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.